Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel, Nessa and Sophie. My name is Nessa and this here is my Cavapoo puppy named Sophie. And a little while ago, I posted a video sharing with you guys that Sophie and I are taking our very first trip together. We are going to be traveling from Canada over to Europe and hitting up three different European countries, starting off in Portugal and then taking a road trip to Spain, then France, and then circling back again to Portugal. It's a very big trip that we have planned and I have so much I wanna share with you guys. And one of those things is how we're getting ready to actually leave Canada as a first time dog owner and a first time flying on the plane for Sophie. Yeah, Sophie, you're gonna be going on a plane. She has no idea. Since we are a few days away from traveling, there's a very specific time frame that we have in order to accomplish certain things in order to travel with a pet. Because we're traveling from Canada to Portugal, we are dealing with the Canadian Food Inspection Agency. I spoke with them on the phone and they let you know what forms you need to fill out depending on what country you go to because different countries have different agreements with your country. And they also have different requirements for what your puppy or your dog needs to have in order to enter into the country. I was notified of what form I needed to fill out and when to fill it out. The form I needed to fill out is the non-commercial movements of five or less dogs or cats. This is specifically the English Portuguese one. Seven pages of just information about your dog, like what breed they are, when they were vaccinated, their microchip information. So I just had my vet fill this in. Then I went to the Canadian Food Inspection Agency office and I got the form certified. Now I have that form plus Sophie's rabies certificate and her microchip documents which is apparently what I'm going to need to show when I get to the border. I have all our forms ready to go in a nice little pile, so that makes me feel a lot less stressed out. If you're watching this video because you plan on traveling with your dog in the future, I would definitely recommend reaching out to a travel agency. That's what I did. And they are able to give you more rules and regulations than just doing a random search online. And they're also able to redirect you to an agency or a government agency that'll give you more information. And then they can tell you specifically what you need in order to enter a specific country that you are traveling to. So for instance, to enter into Portugal, Sophie needs to have her rabies vaccine done after microchipping. Sophie was not microchipped. I know a lot of people microchip their puppies when they do their spay or neuter surgery. And I just wasn't planning on microchipping Sophie. That wasn't really part of the plan. Um, and then things sort of started changing. We started making these plans and I found out that she needed to have her microchipping done before her yearly vaccine, specifically her rabies vaccine. So we did her microchipping and then about a month later we did her vaccines. So that made it so much easier already knowing that we had that rule checked over and we didn't have to worry about whether her rabies vaccine was done before or after. We already knew that they needed it done after and we were good to go. I'm not gonna lie, this whole paperwork process stressed me out a little bit just because it was a little confusing and there was a lot of back and forth in trying to figure out whether everything was filled in properly and to make sure the forms were ready to go. Um, but now we finally get to move on to the exciting part, which is packing and figuring out what we're taking. I do have to wash a bunch of Sophie's toys because I will be taking a few with us. And I also think I'm going to take some mental enrichment things as well because she does really benefit from it. And I figured being in a new place, it doesn't hurt having extra mental enrichment things. I'm going to start piling together and seeing what I need to take for her. And of course, we're gonna take all her essentials that she normally has. I'm also going to be taking some dog treats as well and some dog food for her too. I know they sell dog treats in these other countries, but I already wanna have some going when we get there so I don't have to purposely go and buy some. I'm also getting Sophie used to her carrier for the plane ride. She's getting really good at it whenever I put it on the ground and she naturally goes right into it. So I'm hoping that's gonna be a good sign with her being comfortable with it on the plane. But of course, it's gonna be a completely new environment and a new situation. She doesn't get nauseous or nervous with train rides or car rides so I'm hoping that's a good sign for when we go on the plane we'll have to wait and see I can't believe we're only a few days away from traveling obviously there's still a lot more to do and a lot more to get ready but I just wanted to give you guys an update on what we've done so far and how we've gotten ready so definitely follow for more because there's going to be a lot more that I'm going to be showing you guys on how we get ready I think the nerves are starting to kick in a little bit for me. Sophie again is completely clueless, but that's good. She, as long as she doesn't pick up on my stress, that's all that matters. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps anybody who is looking at traveling sometime soon with their puppy. If you did enjoy this video, leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe so you can support our channel and so you can see more. 
We'll see you again next time. Bye guys. Make sure you stay tuned because we have a lot more videos coming up showing you guys how we get ready for our first international flight together and all of our travels. You won't want to miss it.